Native American Indian, I have studied the ancient arts of the Shaolin lineage for over 25 years because I feel the bond between my people and theirs. I have been told by the masters that I was once a Shaolin warrior in ancient China and am destined in this lifetime to continue that which was left unfinished during my past life in China. As a spiritual descendant of Shaolin, my mission is to return our founding temple back to the greatness that it once enjoyed and deserved with admirable respect from all peoples in the world. My vision is to have a temple that is self-sustaining and encompassing all concepts and traditions of the original Shaolin Temple, a place where one can find peace, solitude, and companionship, a place where one can find help to get healed physically or spiritually, where one can learn about herbs, medicine, or acupuncture, where one can meditate, practice qigong, or just work out, a place where someone can train to be one of the great teachers of the next century. With my core of students, I know we can achieve this dream. This is a set of Qigong exercises that for thousands of years have been used in China for the curing of disease and the promotion of radiant health, known as eight sections of brocade or bandan chen. The first form is called propping the heaven to improve the functions of the triple warmer. Take a deep breath, inhaling, pressing up, and exhale through the mouth. Inhale, pressing up, propping the heaven, exhale, let go of all your tension, stress, feel it melting down into the earth. Form number two is called drawing a bow to shoot the bird. This strengthens the lung, chest, and shoulders, balances the chi in the body. Take a deep breath, inhaling. Turn the spine, feel like you're grabbing a bowstring. Draw back the bow, feel a little bit of tension. Hold your breath, exhale, let go of the arrow. Feel as though you're sitting on a horse. Left hand, inhale, very deep breath, Breathe into the Dan Tian. And pull back the drawstring. Aim. And let go of the arrow. Completely relaxing into the horse stance. Deep breath. Slight tension as you draw back the bow. Aim with the index finger. Let go of the arrow. Completely relaxing into the horse stance. Pull back the bow. A little bit of tension. Aim and fire sitting down into the horse stance. One more set. Draw back the bow. Again, feel a little bit of tension as you're pulling back a bird bow. Let go the arrow sitting into the horse stance. Form number three. Raise a single arm to regulate the functions of the spleen and stomach. Inhaling as your hand drops down the center of the body and exhale. Pressing both up to heaven, pushing down to earth. Inhale and exhale, extending chi in both directions. Inhale and raise a single arm. Inhale. Form number four, looking back to alleviate the five strains and the seven impairments. Inhaling, exhale, gather chi, place it into the dantian. Inhale, feel the dantian expanding, looking over the left shoulder. And exhale, feel energy around you and place it into the dantian. Inhale, and exhale. Alleviate the five strains, which are from excessive standing, walking, sitting, lying, and prolonged use of the eyes. 
The seven impairments are from overfeeding, excessive fury, cold weather, sorrow, anxiety, laziness, extreme weather conditions that impair constitution and prevent physical emotional shock. Let's take a step out for form number five called shake the head and twist the trunk to extinguish fire from the heart. We begin by simple back stretch and let's inhale, arch the back, look up toward the sky, exhale and relax. Inhale, stretching the lower back, stretching the back, exhale and relax. Now we begin the exercise. The concept to remember is a yin and yang rib. You want to open and close your ribs. This is to massage your internal organs, massage your own liver, massage your own spleen, as you constantly move your internal organs. This is to rid the body of excess fire, or chi, caused by holding in anger, frustration, lack of sleep, or too much alcohol. Form number six is called touching the toes to strengthen the kidneys and reinforce the loins. Take a deep breath. Take an inhale as your hands rise up. Feel yourself squeezing an imaginary ball. Exhale through the mouth. Touch your toes. Run your hands along the back of your legs. Then gently press your kidneys. Relax the body. Inhale. Squeezing, holding your breath. Exhale through the mouth. Touch your toes, raise your hands along the back of your legs, gently press on the kidneys. Inhale, squeeze, exhale through the mouth, touching the toes to strengthen the kidneys and reinforce the loins. Touching the toes in one smooth motion, run your hands along the back of your legs, Gently press the kidneys. Punching with angry eyes to build up physical strength and to strengthen the nervous system. Take a deep breath, inhaling. Exhale, punching out. Inhale, breathe into the dantian. Exhale. Feel the chi flowing through the fist and through the eyes. Exhale, punching from the front. And inhale. Exhale, feel the chi moving through your fist, through your eyes. Exhale, punching with angry eyes. And exhale, and relax. The final form, number eight, is called jolting the body to shake away illness. This inhale, coming up on the ball of your feet. Exhale, dropping hard on the heels. Inhale and drop. Remember to keep the knees bent. Take the shock directly off your spine. Inhale and drop. This exercise increases the ability of the body to withstand the disharmonious influences of nature and the cosmos. Ridge the body of bad chi by jolting it down into the earth. We're going to end using a standing meditation known as Embracing the Tree, or Jangzhan. Inhaling. Feel yourself embrace a tree. Come in, touching the third eye area, and expand. Relax the body completely. Feel your feet rooted deeply into the ground. Feel the body very light, able to sway with the breeze, very much like a tree does. Second posture is in front of the heart. Coming in, touching the breastplate, and expand. Again, remember to keep the body relaxed. The more relaxed, the easier it is to let go. Third posture, coming in, touching the Dantian area, and expand, area of strength. 
Feel as though you're holding a nice ball of chi. Feel it reaching through your body, touching your very spine and your hips. Final posture, wuji posture, known as the primal or original posture. Relax the body, feel like you have no bones, so you're completely relaxed. <laughs>